Well, since 2009, when we first saw the introduction of Bitcoin and what were a relatively straightforward and, and, and relatively simple set of use cases, typically transferring digital assets between identities, we've seen a, a, a tremendous evolution within the what, what is now the blockchain ecosystem. So the way that the blockchain allows us to create and represent digital identity securely, it, it, it allows us to trust the digital identities that we want to transact with in a way that we haven't really been able to in the past. Um, the blockchain platform itself is the provider of, uh, 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 of that trust. So the trust-based economy is really the, 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 the fact that 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 trust in either the individuals or the assets involved in transaction are actually worth money. They're what makes that, that, that transaction safe and actually can add value to it, and that's what the trust economy is all about. So what blockchain starts to do is give us a, a technology approach that in the past allows us, to, allows us to break out of that centralized model we've had in the past, where it's all held in a database by a bank or, or by a retailer, and start to have it as a, as in a platform. And I think that's a bit even more important than the trust economy, but it's the fact it's going to, it allows us to build a trust platform. We're likely to see organizations all over the globe to start using blockchain opportunities from a digital reputation point of view. And there's going to be a fundamental shift in a way where we saw before these organizations play a role of trust agents. Now these agents are going to start moving towards individuals where the trust is going to be handled by individuals themselves. And what this means in the long term is still unclear to us. However, in the short term, we understand that this won't be a big disruption for these big organizations like banks, credit agencies, etc. But longer term, they should start thinking about how this fundamentally changed their business models and how could they engage individuals in a different way in order to st still stay relevant. Um, the challenge now is about moving it from a, a technology into an ecosystem or a platform that, that's actually out there adding value in the, you know, in the world. I would say look into your future strategy and understand where you want to be as, as an organization in the future and think about the business models and the way they will work in the new trust economy, in the blockchain economy, and make sure that your organization is fit for that. Don't just look at how you optimize existing processes, which is important, but also think about potentially how you reinvent some of the services or needs you were trying to address with your customers.